Welcome back to the IGCSE Computer Science Code 0478 Guide. In this chapter, we will be discussing about logic gates and logic circuits. You will learn about logic gates, creating logic circuits, solving truth tables for a given logic circuit, and using NAND gates to construct other logic gates. Logic gates are used in electronic circuits, memories, and control devices. They take binary inputs to produce a binary output. Several logic gates form a logic circuit. The output of a logic circuit can be identified using a truth table. The six main logic, logic gates include Number one, NOT gate. The output is x if the input a is zero. Therefore, x is equal to NOT a. So, when the input is zero, the output is one and vice versa. Number two, OR gate. The output x is one if either input a or b is one. Therefore, x is equal to a or b. So, when the inputs are either 1, 1 or 1, 0, the output is 1. Number 3, AND gate. The output x is 1 if both inputs a and b is 1. Therefore, x is equal to a and b. So when the inputs are both 1 and 1, the output is 1. Number 4, NAND gate. The output x is 1 if both inputs A and B is not 1. Therefore, X is equal to A NAND or NOT AND B. So, when the inputs are 1 and 1, the output is 0. Other than that, the output will always be 1. Number 5, NOR gate. The output X is 1 if either input A or B is not 1. Therefore, x is equal to nor or not or b so when the inputs are either 1 1 or 1 0 the output is 0 number 6 xor gate the output x is 1 if input a is 1 and input b is 0 or input a is 0 and input b is 1 therefore x is equal to a sor b so, when the inputs are either 1, 0, or 0, 1, the output will be 1. Logic circuits. A logic circuit is formed when logic gates are combined together to perform a function. For the IGCSE syllabus, we will be learning how to produce a truth table for a logic circuit and designing a logic circuit to carry out the function. Example for producing a truth table. From this logic circuit, we can see that an AND gate, NOR gate, OR gate, and SOR gate is used. We will be dividing this logic circuit into three parts. You will also be given a table, such as the one on the right, with the values A, B, and C provided with. Gate P is an AND gate with the inputs A and B. Since it is an AND gate, both inputs have to be 1 in order to get an output of 1 can be seen that the last two rows give an output of 1. Gate Q is a NOR gate with the inputs B and C. The small circle at the end and, and the structure can be used to identify it as a NOR gate. Since it is a NOR gate, both inputs have to be 0 in order to get an output of 1. It can be seen that the first and fifth row gives an output of 1. Gate R is an OR gate with the inputs P and Q, which means that we must combine the outputs of P and Q in order to solve the truth table for R. Since it is an OR gate, at least one input has to be 1 in order to get an output of 1. The first, fifth, and last two rows gives an output of 1. Finally, the final gate is a SOR gate with the inputs R and C. Since it is a SOR gate, the inputs must be exactly 1 and 0, or 0 and 1, to get an output of 1. All rows except the second and last row gives an output of 1. 
That is how he solved the truth table for a given logic circuit. Example for designing a logic circuit. Usually, we are provided with a table with values and a set of conditions. We are then asked to design a logic circuit and complete its truth table to produce a value of x is equal to 1. From this diagram, we can find that x is equal to 1 if s is equal to, to not 1 and t is equal to 1 or s is equal to 1 and w is equal to 1 or t is equal to not 1 and w is equal to 1. From the conditions above, we can create the following gates. By combining the gates together, we get a logic circuit which would be similar to the one on the right. Although the structure may differ depending on where you place the inputs, all seven logic gates must be present in the correct order. From this logic circuit, we can create a true table with the results on the right. using NAND gates to create other logic gates. One common building block is the NAND gate. Using the NAND gate, we are able to build any logic gate and logic circuit. Here, it can be seen that with one NAND gate and one input, we can create a NOT gate. With two NAND gates and two inputs, we can create an AND gate. And with three NAND gates and two inputs in the following structure, we can create an OR gate. Here are some practice questions. Pause the video to try and solve them by yourself. Your results must be similar to the one on the right. Try to draw a logic circuit for the conditions below. Your drawing must be similar to the one on the right. Alright, so by the end of this video, you should know the six different logic gates, NOT, OR, AND, NAND, NOR, and SOR, or XOR, whatever you want to call it. How to draw logic circuits for given conditions, how to fill truth tables for a given logic circuit, using NAND gates to create other logic gates, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. On the right are the resources used in the making of this video. I hope that this video has been helpful and has enhanced your CS knowledge and I'll see you guys in the next chapter.